right, my friends. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. It is 7-11, the 11th day of July 2013 on this Thursday edition. And I've said this hundreds of times. You've all heard it before. Uh, one reason my show is listenable is that I have quite a bit of data, a lot of research. I know a lot of factoids. Uh, also can be entertaining when I blow up and melt down on air. But at the same time, we have a lot of amazing guests. And there is no radio consultant out there saying, hey, you ought to do this, you ought to do that. And in a way, that's good, but in a way, it's bad. Because I know that overall, even 10 years ago, sometimes I probably generally did a better radio show than I do now. Now, obviously, in, at points, uh, the broadcast is more informed by an order of several magnitude. There are high points much higher than the type of info and understanding, but also just good radio than I had 10 years ago. Overall, we reach dizzying heights of uh, awakening and flat out entertainment. So, so there are bigger diamonds, but overall I would say less diamonds in the aggregate. Because I've been doing this so long, I, I, I want to not degenerate instead of evolve and develop and get better. And a lot of it is, is that I really could care less what people think about me now completely. I don't have as big an ego as I had um, 10, 15 years ago, where I would care about how I sounded or how I looked. And people ask me all the time, is your show real or is it an act? And I believe what I'm saying. When I get mad, it's real, but I'm letting myself do it. So does that make it an act? It's real, but there's an element to sure, you know, free will to, 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 to go wild on the air. Now, 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 quite frankly, sometimes, folks, I go so wild that I'm really asking myself, am I lying to myself just now? Wishing that I could say that I was in control. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. You've heard me hundreds of times start the broadcast in the last five years and say, I really want to take a lot of calls today. I mean, even big shows are amazed when their phone lines load. Ladies and gentlemen, I can turn on a computerized phone system and take 100 calls that will come in in just a minute. Most shows lean on the callers like a like a boxer leaning on the ropes or 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 or, or holding uh, the person they're boxing to, to to rest. With me, it's the opposite. It's more of a frenzied, manic, uh, frothing uh, kind of well, what's the right word for it? Berserk, a berserking fits and starts train wreck. I mean, I can conduct the best radio interviews out there, sound like Charlie Rose, ask great questions, sit back, listen to the people, come off. I mean, I can do it in an English accent if I wanted to. But I can't control myself. I won't do it. I could get up here and get calm like I am when I'm not on air and completely, eloquently communicate things. But then I get on air, what I'm saying is I get on air and I'm like half the man I am off the air. And so th th there is mega massive news, but when I come back, I'm going to give the phone number out and I'm going to take 30 or 40 phone calls the next hour or I'm going to have John Bound punch me in the nose live on air. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. And uh, here's what I want to do. And I've said this many times and really never done it in the last few years. But I do want to open the phones up right out of the start of the show. 
very early on for your questions, your comments, if you agree, you disagree. First time callers. I was listening to, to a little bit of the rebroadcast last night when I got in bed at about 11 o'clock at night and happened to hear a caller call in uh, who I was a little bit rude to uh, just because I get so irritated by all the news and what's happening. And then, you know, the callers will ask me if they can talk about something. And that's kind of my pet peeve. You're on the air. I mean, you can come on and bring up whatever subject you want. But still, I was being a little bit uh, rude with the gentleman. And that's just my observation, so I apologize. It, it, it's not a personal thing. This stuff really gets to me. And, and uh, I get asked that a lot. How do you handle it? How does Alex Jones handle the pressure of reading this info and studying this info and then trying to talk about it? And the answer is I really don't handle it. I mean, I guess it's almost a form of therapy once I've gone over all this news, morning, noon, and night, and then come on air. But it's really almost like torture because each story I could spend an hour on just fleshing out. Here's an example from yesterday, then I'll get to all the latest news we're going to be covering, and then get the number out and go to your calls, and then second hour start getting into the news in depth. Because I want to shake the show up myself. The broadcast is exploding, it's getting all this attention, and... You know, I tune in and listen to it sometimes, and it's really informative and great and sounds like really professional radio. Other times it sounds like somebody released a gorilla on PCP from uh, the uh, New York Zoo or something. But, I mean, look at this article. This is why I freak out. Patient wakes up as doctors get ready to remove organs. And then I am an expert on this from researching it for 23, 4 years. Uh, since I learned they were stealing organs because my dad uh, rewired jaws in hospitals and things and said it was well known they were they were killing people. And then it turned out Dallas hospitals were killing even healthy people for their organs. And Chicago uh, and, and, and Austin, I mean, and Houston and New York, I mean, it's everywhere. And it's only the naivete of the... general public that allows this type of stuff to go on. So there's an example if I start reading this on air and then start demonically laughing on purpose to try to illustrate to people how over the top this is. Because when you read the article, it's like, well, the nurses told him she was alive and had good brain waves and pulse and was responding uh, to uh, nerve stimulus. And that she had just, you know, the woman had a prescription pill overdose and that they should pump her stomach and give her charcoal and that she would be fine. And the doctor said, no, we're taking her in to take her organs. And by the grace of God, as they began to uh, uh, prepare to uh, do the opening incision, oh, cutting through her ribs, busting her all open, to take their time sucking her dry. They even take the blood the marrow, you know, they assanguate the whole deal. They can get half a mil if the organs are all in order. Half a mil. And the doctors reportedly, in some cases, get as much as a third of the cash. So you had a costly divorce. You got a lot of alimony you're paying, child support. Uh, you got a, you know, $5 million house as a, uh, as a surgeon. What do they call those that get the organs out? Uh, and it just goes on and on. No, but this is a living person. What's an organ surgeon? A, a thoracic surgeon? Let's look it up. The point is, is that, you know, you got a $5 million house. I, I mean, you don't want to just make $10,000 on a surgery. I mean, you want to make $100,000, 200000 you know, whatever. And my dad was a dentist and oral surgeon, and he just said, it's well known in the medical community, the doctors say, to their families, don't sign the organ donor card. Because a lot of hospitals, if you come in unconscious, I mean a knock on the head, they're going to kill you. And you see, they are the establishment wearing the white uniform, like a cop wearing a blue or black uniform, and so everyone bows down while you're the expert. See, medical tyranny is what Hitler went with first, because... He could get away with it because the people would bow down to it and follow orders from it. And so, just so you know my frustration, 
I've seen cases. I mean, there's a low probability these people were just idiots and didn't listen to the nurse and just decided to not, you know, uh, get the pills out of her stomach or whatever and just decided to not administer the charcoal and just, to, okay, maybe, you know, one in a thousand, in, in my opinion, in my researched, educated view on this. But we know all over the country they kill people and it's come out. And again, when I was 15 years old going to get my... Uh, take driver's ed and everything, and I was taking driver's ed at school. I was going to take the final test uh, a few months before I was 16. And my dad was taking me there some days uh, you know, for the, uh, the uh, after-school uh, driver's ed, because there was also some after-school stuff, driving classes, whatever you call it. And he told me, listen, don't sign that card. And he said, the doctors don't do it with their kids and their wives and their husbands. And I said, why? And he goes, I've just been told that they will not, not take care of you. And I said, what, have your brain dead? And he goes, no. I mean, they, the word is they're killing healthy people. And he said, I'm just going to leave it at that. Don't sign it. So I did what he said. And then later, years later, it came out in 60 Minutes and stuff. The point is you read this article and separate from them taking the organs, from, from people that are, could easily be saved and who aren't brain dead, aren't even brain damaged. <sighs> Just like it was a conspiracy theory in, in the news five years ago that Israel was grabbing detainees and then putting them under and taking their organs, turned out that was true. You know, first it was what, Dutch newspapers and others that reported it when Israeli doctors blew the whistle. And it was like, oh, anti-Semitic conspiracy theory, but then it turned out it was true. They were taking the organs. It, it's, but, but see, the media then tried to make it about, oh, you're saying, uh, you know, Jews are inherently evil stealing organs. When that wasn't even the issue. Corrupt governments and corrupt institutions all over the world traffic in organs, children, drugs, weapons, chemicals, uh, you name it. And the public being chumps is what allows all this to happen. And then you read the article, and it's just like that New York Times article about Bayer shipped its riskier products overseas. Risky? They knew it had HIV and hepatitis in the factor eight and shipped it into countries where they had already given political contributions like Canada and France and Australia, and so they could get away with it. And it came out, they knew it was a death sentence, they did it. That's not risky. If I go over and kill my neighbor, it's not, it's not a real, oh, Alex did a risky thing. No, no, that's a side diversion. And it's like this ABC News article. This is one article, out of no exaggeration, probably 200 on my desk. All just as important. It's all about, oh, it was just, you know, uh, was an accident, but thank goodness she opened her eyes. And then it was so human that it was like, uh-oh, she opened her eyes, this is too obvious. And then they had to not cut her organs out. And then it describes what went on. It was exactly midnight when Colleen Burns eerily opened her eyes and looked at the uh, orbiting lights above her. Shocked doctors who believed she was dead believe she was dead. He goes on to say that the nurses told him, heart, heart rate, everything. She's right there. Pump, you know, get, get. So, so see, they're like, oh, they believe she was dead. And we're about to remove her organs and donate them to patients on the transplant waiting list because they had the money. The Syracuse Post Standard unearthed a report. See, this stuff's all over the place because it's just a report. Nothing's ever done. From the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, that's like Satan overseeing a low-level demon, uh, that chronicled the series of errors that led to the near organ removal of a living patient at St. Joseph Hospital Health Center in Syracuse, New York in 2009. This just broke yesterday. The patient did not suffer any type of arrest of the heart, did not have irreversible brain damage, the HHS report concluded the patient did not meet criteria for withdrawal of care. So see, once you're withdrawing care, somebody's alive now, we're going to withdraw care and take their organs. Well, now it's just, we're just going to take it even though you're alive. And, well, you better hope you open your eyes. Next, it'll be, we have to sedate them because they're dead. Uh, so they, they're a zombie. We have to, 
According to the report, doctors had inaccurately diagnosed Burns with irreversible brain damage. Yeah, yeah. And ignored nurses who noticed signs that Burns was improving. She curled her toes when touched, flared her nostrils, and moved her mouth and tongue. Oh, she's like trying to come out of it. Hey, let's let's pump her stomach. Let's get the... No. She was also breathing on her own, even though she was on a respirator. Well, see, that's part of the... The act is, that's like when a SWAT team raids Amish for having their own milk. It's all part of the theater. Oh, look, we have guns and, and armored vehicles. They're bad. They're bad. We wouldn't be here if they weren't bad. Oh, here, here, let's put me on a respirator. They could have just got Michael Hastings, stuck him on a respirator. He's like, get it out of my mouth. And they're like, shut up. Boom. You know, this is the new, it's all theater. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. And then it, it's her on the table fighting for her life. Next, they'll just say, she's really a zombie. You know, I mean, that's how this works now. And they'll go, it's a conspiracy theory that anybody's alive. We'll take all your organs. It's for the children. And if you don't like it, you're a racist. What's that have to do with medical tyranny? That's what every racist says. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is. It's an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states. And the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at Infowars.com. Infowars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, Infowars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. 
I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the New World Order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. I'm going right to your phone calls. Then I'll get to the Justice Department. Finally, the media is paying attention, organizing the Trayvon Martin protest, uh, trying to organize riots, I guess, to be a distraction from all of the uh, big scandals that are racing around right now. And the judge interfering, unprecedented, uh, trying to prejudice the jury, basically. Uh, you've got... Uh, the police chief saying they were pressured to basically arrest him even though they knew from all the witnesses that he had been assaulted. And regardless of what you think of Zimmerman, this is a giant media diversion and they're trying to create division with it and Trayvon jumped on top of him and beat the daylights out of him. And, it, but, but the point is it's just a mindless soap opera. I'm gonna get into that. I'm gonna get into uh, some incredible medical news. Uh, worms regrow their decapitated heads along with their memories, which a lot of science shows is actually accurate. I'm going to break down what that really means. Folks, your spinal cord is a continuation of your brain. Your stomach has brain type tissue in it. It's not just this brain up here. That's why you drink beer, you get, you know, drunk up here. Of course, the blood also picks up the alcohol and takes it up there. But that's what autism is. These kids are, are poisoned by the pesticides and all the rest of it in the food. But we're going to be getting into that. We're going to get into... Uh, William F. Jasper, editor of The New American, is going to be joining us. Transatlantic danger, EU-U.S. merger talks underway in D.C. Oh, yeah. That actually already happened back in 2007, but now they're going public with it. We're going to be breaking that down. Uh, we're going to be getting into uh, just, just a ton of news. Lawmaker demands the National Guard patrol the streets of Chicago to stop gun violence. The truth is this has already been going on for four years. Before Blagojevich got indicted, he had already deployed them uh, for about a week. Uh, and, and, and they're still there off and on. Uh, we've confirmed, but there's hardly ever any news coverage. So this is just all part of take the citizens guns, then only criminals have guns, then the whole society collapses, and then the government gets to bring in martial law, which is why the establishment wants a disarmed, chicken neck population that can't defend itself. That's simple a psychology, they want you dependent, so that's coming up. But, but briefly, back to uh, this, this New York case, where a newspaper did its job and noticed a report where one of the nurses complained and pointed out that they were putting this lady on a respirator who was coming out of it and that they just simply wanted to pump her stomach uh, and uh, try to you know, get the drug overdose out of her stomach, uh, a multi-drug overdose according to the report. And um, again, people say, why stick her on a ventilator? When they start taking the organs, she's going to die for real. So you've got to have that going to take your time getting them. So I thought I would play uh, a little clip here uh, uh, from Monty Python. What film is this? I forget. The Meaning of Life? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this is basically, it's satirical, but this is how it works. They come to the house, force their way in, say, hey, you got an organ donor card. We're taking your organs now. Because, see, they need that consent up front. And, I'm, I'm, and I'd be forgiving organs if you die in a car wreck or something. But you have a corrupt system. And they will look the other way and in some cases outright kill you when, when you go into the hospital. They're already euthanizing people all over the world. Once you bring in socialist health care, you know, the case for killing granny, cover of Newsweek. Now you can watch the Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at infowars.com slash show.